Hey guys, what's going on? In today's tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use a progress bar. So, progress bars are useful when you want to um, give your user some feedback on how to, on what's happening. So if you use the mobile version of Safari, it will, when you search something up, it will give you a progress bar at the top. And even on the desktop version, it gives you a progress bar. That's to show you like how the web page is loading. So it can be used whenever you're loading something. What I'm going to do for this demo is add a progress bar, <laughs> and, then, and then add a button. So when the button is clicked, it's going, to, it's going to make the progress bar start moving until it's finished. Uh, let me just add some constraints to this progress bar. Horizontally in container, and I'll give it some width and height. Okay, what's the problem? Well, oh. okay. Oh, let me delete this width. Okay, now I'll add a button. Oh, so I'm on spotlight by accident. Button. And I'll give it some constraints. Uh, horizontally in container. And we'll give it 25 above this and width and height. So to do this, we're going to be using a timer and Basically, when the button is clicked, it's going to create a timer, and when that timer is used, it's going to. Basically, when that timer is executed, it's going to move the progress bar by a small increment. So, I'll just make it so that I'll just uh, first connect these outlets. So, name this one progress bar, and this one will be called. We'll add an action button press. Okay, and now we're going to need to add a timer. So when the button is clicked, we're going to add a timer. Timer equals ns timer. Oh, why is that? Equals ns timer. Oh, let me actually start a. Let me create a timer here first. So bar timer equals ns timer oh actually I'll just make it equals timer okay and now timer is equal to timer dot scheduled position with time intervals uh which one is it this one Time interval, uh, we'll set the time interval 0 0.05. Uh, repeats true um, timer timer. Okay, now in this code, we're going to move the button. So, I mean, we're going to move the progress bar. So, I'm just going to add a variable here setting progress bar progress equals uh, we need this to be a float. So I'll just make this a float equals 0, 0.0 and we'll set the progress bar to this dot progress. Uh, oh, did I drag the wrong thing to the progress bar? I added I added the view by accident. Maybe just delete this quickly. Uh, just delete it from here. Progress view. Wait, what? Have I oh it's uh, let me just connect that there. I'll just add it again. Progress. I'll make it a capital P. Progress. Q. Let me just comment this out. You probably shouldn't do that, but it's fine. Okay, so progress view. Progress view. Dot progress is equal to progress okay so now this is just going to reset the time as the progress views progress at the start and also when the view loads we're going to need to reset it so progress view dot progress equals 0 0.2 okay and now every 0 0.5 seconds is going to be adding one to that to that progress so um, here we'll do progress plus equals one and then we'll do oh, one point zero. And then we'll just set the progress view dot progress equals progress. 
So we we can do this, but then what we need to do is check here. Oh, let's just add self. And then we also need to check if it's finished. So if progress view dot progress is equal to one hundred zero, then just stop this. So timer dot stop timer. Or oh, no, we won't. We won't stop the timer. We'll just do. We'll just reset the progress bar. Oh, we need to do self progress view dot progress equals zero point zero. Self. Okay. So now let's see how this works. Uh, I'm not expecting this to work first try, but I'll just see. Oh, I think I ran it on the wrong thing. Okay. Let's see how this works. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, did I set it as the wrong thing? Oh, it's because I accidentally let this out. Okay, now let's try. Okay, so. Nice. Okay. Okay. So now what I've done is I've just reset this. So basically the progress view dot progress it only goes up to one, so if this is equal to one and I made a quick I made a mistake. I thought it went up to a hundred, but it went up to one. So now I've just made it so it only adds zero point one every time. And now we can see it actually works properly. So yeah, that's how you use a progress bar. Now if we click it again, it does it again. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and see you later.